quickly get in here. Loot that. Okay, get out. No, nope, there's loot here as well. Okay, now run! Hello one and all, Mickey here and welcome back to Fallout 4 in the flavour of 7 Days to Die. Van Dorn is here and raring to go. He's been hidden away in a bunker for the past, I don't know, what is it, like 200 years? But for those of you that didn't watch the last episode where I did a little trial run with Scotch Mother Hobo, God rest his drunken soul, the idea is all the enemies in the game, the animals, the super mutants, the ghouls, the raiders, the gunners, the robots, the synths, everything has been replaced by zombies. In fact, three zombies per single spawn point. So whenever there be an enemy, instead there'd be three zombies in that enemy's place. And that includes NPCs as well. So if you go into a town, no doubt that town will be attacked by zombies that spawned in the same locations as the NPCs that were there. And NPCs, regardless of whether they're protected or essential, also turn to zombies when they die as well. On top of that, I've changed it so that you can't loot zombies, because that's going to get really old, because there's me so many zombies to loot. But you can loot enemies like gunners or NPCs that were killed and turned into zombies. Those you can loot. Next up, we've got a mod that reduces all the loot in the game so we're going to be really struggling for loot so it's just like seven days to die with the loot charts down to 25 percent and on top of that as you can see timer at the top of the screen between the hours of 10 p.m and 6 a.m i'm going to set all of the zombies via this handy little tape here to perception 10 to 13 maxing their perception out so they can hear you and see you as much as possible and set their speed from random to fast run times three so that just like seven days to die during those nighttime hours they're going to be sprinting and they're going to spot you a mile off now, this is actually the Van Dorn that I prepared for the next series of the Impossible Iron Man run of Vanilla Fallout 4. But seeing as that isn't going to happen, we're going to use him for the zombie apocalypse. As for all the gear he'd acquired, I've stored it all here. Because using it, as you saw with Scotch by the Hobo, it kind of made it a bit boring. We're going to go in pretty much empty. I'll show you what you've got. We're going to have two Radaways, two Stimpaks, two Purified Water, two Morat Chunk for food, clothing. We're going to be able to set up camp in case we can't find a bed to sleep at night. And then lastly, our weapons. He's me going with a bare bones switchblade and oh my god what's this a minigun i've already broken the game guys don't worry seriously don't the minigun has 50 rounds against zombies that only die when they're shot in the head believe me this is not gonna last long this is hopefully gonna tide us over until we find anything any gun any ammo whatever remember we're gonna get a lot less loot here especially seeing as the majority of the enemies of the game the zombies they're not really lootable so this will hopefully tide us over until we can find a weapon anything well i think that's enough we should head out there and see what the world's got in store for us and here we are, Vandal's bunker, his base, we are in fact in Sanctuary. Don't worry, no more base building, we're not going to play like that, we're not going to be defending settlements. All these people, Garvey, you are on your own buddy, you are on your own, as are you Codsworth. And Dogmeat, I don't know where he is, I left him here somewhere, I told him not to follow me anymore. We are going solo. Dogmeat was with Scotchmo, but he won't be going with Van Dorn. As for the performance problems I noticed in the previous game, in the previous trial run we did, I know there was a few performance problems. I've lowered a lot of the graphic settings down to make things a bit smoother. There are a lot more enemies on the screen than the game is used to handling, so we'll see how it goes. I think our first... <sighs> our first objective... Man, this bridge is actually nicely fixed up. Garvey! I didn't mean what I said! Ugh. Oh, that's it! We're out of ammo! Okay! Don't even worry about it! Yep, we are just... We're out of ammo. Oh, should I even bother trying to attack you? More zombies! Great! Garvey! This settlement's under attack! Maybe you should do something about it! Guys? Anyone? Anybody else want to join in? I'll let you guys go nuts. I'm going now. Just don't shoot me, turrets. My god. That's fine, I'm going. These zombies are just shambling very, very slowly. Don't mind me. Yeah, you you, you attack that settlement. None of my business anymore. But we need... I can't believe that was 50 bullets already. Wow. We need loot. I'm pretty sure I've looted with Van Dorn in... Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure all this is done. We looted all of Sanctuary, all of Red Rocket, and I'm pretty sure all of Concord as well. Possibly even the cinema? No, we didn't loot the cinema. Okay, so we looted all of Sanctuary, all of Red Rocket, and all of Concord. So we can't expect to find any loot within this area. So we need to go further out. Hey, zombie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're quite a fast mover, aren't you? Yeah, I'm not going to bother using melee. Considering we have such little health, 
there's really, really just, it's just not a good idea. Let's just head out into the wilds. Okay. Grab what we can. And get going. Uh, yeah, we must have looted all this. I'm going to assume that all of Concord is looted. Let's just go through it. Maybe we can find some gunners killing zombies and, right, and loot them. So the mission, I've got to mention. First, we're going to head over to Diamond City. Let's put our own marker here. And we're going to see how they're faring. Probably not very well. I checked offline and <laughs> that city is so screwed. But the end goal will be to make it to the end of the map. We'll see if Van Dorn can make it or if it'll be another character after him. And the combat music from Stalker has finally ended. I'm sure this place has been looted. Oh, right. Damn. I need to add binoculars. Give me one second. Oh, do you guys have anything? Yes, you do. <gasps> Pipe pistol and five rounds. We'll take the bottle caps. We don't need you. We'll take the sweet roll, definitely. We don't need your outfits. What about you? Ammo, bullets, food, pistol, pack of cigarettes, sure. And that that is it, really, isn't it? Got a bit of radix. Okay, so the binoculars. Here we go. Binoculars. And now... Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, man, binoculars. I've wanted this in Fallout for so long. It's good to have. Let's keep moving on. There's nothing stashed here, was there? Nope. Nothing else in here? Nope, nope. Oh, man, this is a much scarier world, not having all that loot to fall back on. Though, granted, we're not going to be one-shot by any gunners or super mutants from a mile away. That's also nice. Ooh, that's handy. Sweet. What is that? That looks like the quarry. Right, the quarry that's always bugged out, isn't it? I think on the other side of this, maybe... Might also be a good idea to add this weapon and replace our minigun. And this is what we've got right now. Just this pistol and 13 rounds. That's what we've got to work with. So yeah, guys, I might mention in the previous series, this series is just going to fill in a little bit of time between finishing the last series of Seven Days to Die and before we start up the next. And that's not to say that when we die or when we're done with this Fallout series, we're going to head straight back into Seven Days to Die. I'm probably not going to touch Seven Days to Die again until at, at the least minimum after Christmas. Probably. Oh, wow. Nope. No, no, it's okay. Actually, yeah, hold on. Okay, you know what? You I might actually have to kill. Dummy, dummy. Okay, well, that's you dumb. And you. Is there anybody in there that was living there that I could loot? It doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, God, there's a lot, isn't there? And I have, what, eight bullets. No, let's just move on. I'd love to get something with a scope, if that'll ever happen. I doubt it. Whoa, hello. Hi. Let's leave these zombies be. Failed. Talk to the settlers at Templar's Buff. I don't care. Ooh, wow. Okay. Um. Is there anybody I can, I can loot you? I'm guessing you're a corpse before... The zombies were spawned. Oh, man. God, there's not even any point in holding out this pistol, is there? Oh, we're at the train station. Yeah, I know where we are now. Um, there was loot in here, wasn't there? Is it worth the risk? Oh, no! Give me... Give me that, and then run away. Ugh. Um. Oh, man. Hi, can I... Boop you up. Oh, you're going to get up as well. Anything in here? Oh, I think there was... Quickly get in here. Loot that. Okay, get out. Nope, there was loot here as well. Okay, now run! Oh, crap. Ow, that hurt. Oh, that was silly. That was really silly heal up. You're one of our, like, what? Two or three stim packs. And now we're thirsty as well, aren't we? Because stim packs make you thirsty. Yep, now we're thirsty and we're peckish. Let's have a drink. Now we're parched. We'll leave it at that. Okay. Got a few more bullets. Not a lot. Is that something worth looting? Or oh, how about there? Maybe there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're not going back the way we came. Yeah, that's not going to happen. You're moving quite quick, aren't you? Let's get going. Finding a place to sleep tonight is going to be insane. Yeah, did I mention that while you're sleeping for every hour that passes, there's a 5% chance a horde spawns on top of you? I probably should mention that. Is there going to be any loot up here? No, it doesn't look like it, does it? No, let's just go. Nearly back up to full health. All oh, right, the junkyard. Um, is this a good idea? There was a dude down here, wasn't there? Maybe we can loot him. 
Hey, buddy. Is your corpse lying around here somewhere? Yep, there you are. You got turned into a zombie. I will look you. Whoa, no. That hurt. Grab all your stuff. I cannot believe he did so much damage, but of course he did. On Unsur survival difficulty, he would do that. Um, oh, man. Okay, no, 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 no. No, no zombie. No, dummy. Oh my god, okay. Okay, we've got another runner. No, we need to kind of go somewhere else at this point. Don't, don't get stuck. Do not get stuck. Game. I can't afford to heal because I get stuck on terrain. Four bullets. Excellent. Did he have any weapons on him? He had a pistol, I think. So yeah, now you see why I'm not using the shiv. In fact, I shouldn't even have it selected. Let's get rid of it. I'm never, ever, ever going to use it. Switch that to one. And we are quite badly wounded again. Oh, you're a normal zombie. You weren't turned. Where can I loot? There's a building over there, isn't there? Let's go check that. Oh, graveyard. We can get the turret hack tape here, right? I think it was really stupid of them to add sublock it. To add the turret hack tape here. No zombie. Okay, all good. Baseball bat. Seems like the perfect thing to use in a zombie apocalypse, but I'm not going to. Not when we've got that little health. Grab. Nothing here. Don't know what I'm ever going to use these flowers for. Don't think chemistry is really Van Dorn's thing. Oh, here it is. Okay, thank God we found it. Now we can hack turrets via computer consoles. So, pistol with two bullets, of course. Can we get in here? Was there someone around here? No? Does something spawn when we go in here? No, no, no. Oh, I've got an infection. Outstanding game. I need... Okay, guys, guys, I'm going to say this right now. I know you may not like it. I'm going to download a mod that gets rid of these infections. These infections are annoying at best, but okay when you're playing a normal game. When you're playing a game with this difficulty, where you're getting so little loot, where antibiotics are completely out of the question, and stim packs are few and far between, getting an infection that gives periodic damage means we're dead. It, it just does. Let's see how many stim packs we've got. Probably not a lot. Let's have something to eat. Okay, so eating does actually heal. Right? Wrong. Eating does not heal. We have got... Oh, two stim packs. Heal up. I, I will take all of your bones, sir. And all this completely useless junk. Man, I can't believe we got an infection already. Oh, no, that box is empty because of the loot mod. Jesus Christ! Um, um... Get out! Get out now! Oh, that was so lucky. Oh, I knew something spawned in there. I knew something spawned when we were, out, when we were in there. Oh, that was... Oh, God, that scared the crap out of me. We are completely out of ammo now. Oh, we're out of ammo. We've got an infection. This is not going to go well. We are not going to last long at all. Nope, empty, of course it is. <laughs> Just like seven days to die. And that empty as well. I'm just running around with a baseball bat. What am I supposed to do with this? Yeah, zombie. No, not going to happen. You're not a sprinter, no good. I think the best bet's going to go to, or going to be to go to one of the, yeah, let's not get radiation poisoning. We really can't afford that. And the infection spreading. We're still getting hurt. Yeah, guys, I don't think we're going to even survive one day. Well, no, I think maybe we'll survive one day, but we won't survive the night because we'll just keep taking damage throughout the night and we'll be dead before morning hits. Okay, gunfire. Go to the gunfire. Loot the corpses. What is this place? Oh! Oh! Wow! 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 No! No zombie! No zombie! Are those turrets friendly? I think they're neutral, right? Which is good for me. Are they friendly? Yes! Well, they're neutral. That is good enough for me. Turrets, do not shoot me. Kill the zombies and let me get in there. Oh, survivor. Yes. Zombie in a... What's nearly a thong? No, 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 no. Loot, 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 loot. Take it all. Then run away. And you had ammo. Yes. Oh, my God. Don't walk backwards. You know, just walk forwards. Do not walk backwards. Oh my God, this place is swarming. But it'll be so good to set up shop here. Even if it's just for just one night. 
if we can get inside of here. I don't know why I'm thinking like I'm playing Seven Days to Die. Oh, you know, we can just nerd pole, set up a few boxes, jump over the wall. It'll be fine. Yeah, it would be fine if we could do that. But we can't. So, I mean, we picked up a key, right? So maybe that's our way in. The Covenant. Turrets! Turrets! There we go. Aim for the head turrets. Come on, basic zombie stuff. Let's get inside. Maybe we can close the door. Although, come to think that they can probably open it. Free war money. Take, take whatever. Take whatever. I don't care. Let's close the door. Now, please, turrets, do not become hostile because I'm inside. Now, where are the survivors? I've never actually been in here before. In my playthroughs, I ended up um, getting them quite upset, the people that lived here. Ooh, yes, please. You have stuff. More ah, ooh, my God, you're a runner. Turrets. Poor guy, he's just getting shredded. Okay, now you're dead. Oh, my God, the infection's getting worse. That's our last stim pack. Can we, can we just take... Can I not loot this? Really? Okay, well, not losing that. And you guys don't care about me stealing, right? I'm not going to get shot to a million pieces for taking this random junk. I will take it. So much ammo we got now? Eight. Can I use this? No, we can't. Oh, I can. I can use this. And there is a little bit stored away. We'll take it all. Not that it really counts for much. Oh, my God. I, th I really thought we wouldn't even get to night time. What a nice place this is. Covenant reminder. I, I don't even care, game. I don't even care. Just take it all. Nothing else in here. Where are the rest of the survivors? I really need medical, medical stuff. Get rid of the radio. Yep, the infection's still going. Van Dorn, now is not the time to sit down. Got the animations of Fallout were so slow. Uh, yeah, we don't need to access the control panel. Ooh, safe? Expert safe. We don't have any bobby pins. Of course not. Okay, that's another house looted. Oh man, these turrets. It's a godsend having these turrets here. How did this stuff get out of here? Really weird. These empty bottles will be useful to fill up with water and then boil them at a cooking station. That is advanced, and still no bobby pins. Unfortunate. Okay, was that any stim packs? No, that was no stim packs. Okay, well, this is how much health we have, and we do not have any stim packs left. And it is nearly six o'clock. We've got just over four hours to, I don't know, find stim packs. Oh my god. Where would the survivors be? I mean, I looted, what, like two of them? There must be more than that. I guess they were, they're were they around here somewhere, right? They came out when they when they turned to zombies? I'm sure some of them must have antibiotic or stim packs on them. But yeah, guys, when we reach the night time, the episode ends. I'm going to download a mod, get rid of all of the infections that there are, because that's got... Whoa! You're still alive. Because that is not how I want to play. If I die, you know, I want it to be either from thirst, hunger, or zombies. Not from, you know, I got an infection somewhere and, yeah, I'm about to die. And I can't cure it because of the loot mod that removes so much loot from the game. No. And turrets do not shoot me. And you, ooh, loot you. You're not a survivor. Let's get inside. Okay, guys, I couldn't be bothered to go to the uh, Nexus and download a mod that removes all the infections. I'll do that another time. I'll do that after the episode. But what I did was give myself some antibiotics, and then after the episode, I'll just get that mod that removes all the infections from the game. Because as I said, dying from infection is... that that would be the end. You know, I, I want to die from hunger or thirst. Speaking of which, how much water do we have? Purified water? Ooh, lemonade. But that has radiation, right? Does it? Maybe. Mildly dehydrated. Still thirsty. Parched. Let's stick with parched. What else have we got? Parched, peckish, tired. And we're gaining very slowly HP. Very, very, very slowly. 
Oh my god. You know what? We've got a few hours before night time. Let's head out there and we'll come back here to sleep. This seems like the perfect place. Welcome to Covenant. Yes. Welcome indeed. Oh man. Have the zombies actually stopped? Oh wow. HP's actually going up quite a lot. I need to use drinks like that uh, more sparingly. Whoa! Can I spunk you on the head? There we go. Yeah, you are dead. Okay. You're dead. Yep. No, game. The, the combat's ended, game. Stalker music, the combat's ended. And how many bullets we got? Eight. So we, I mean, we picked up a few. Let's go loot this building over here. Then we'll head back over to Covenant and spend the night there. Which is a really good place to spend the night. Ah, more zombies. Figured as much. And we can't get in here. That's not great. Loot. Armour. That's good. Left arm, right arm, and chest. Sorry, Van Dorn. You're just going to have to put up with it looking like that. And empty. Damn. So let's take stock quickly. We've got eight bullets. Correct? Yes. 8.38 ammo. We have got two purified water and quite a bit of food. Quite a bit of food. You know what? Eat that. I'm pretty sure that's we still stay on Peckish, don't we? Yeah, we do. That's fine. And the sanctuary is just down that road, right? Yes, over there. We've still got a couple more hours. Let's keep going. Hello. Who are you guys? That doesn't look like a friendly light. Kind of looks like super mutants were hold up there and they're cooking people. Oh, but there's this over here. Oh, but zombies. And a lot of them from the looks of it. This was seven days that I would say that would be today's horde. Oh, is this the other sanctuary? Yes, it is, I think. Oh, man. Oh, that. This place. Oh, I don't know if I can get in there. I don't know if I should get in there, even if I can get in there. We've got floaters. We've got walkers. We've got farmers. I'd like to grab that food. Can I at least do that? Oh, you had to be coming this way, didn't you? Explosions in the distance. Which way are you guys going? Kind of this direction. And you move quite quick, don't you? Screw it. Grab the food. Nope, there's no food here. There's no food here to grab. Close the doors. Okay, we need to go. <laughs> Half eight, we've got an hour and a half before night time. Oh man, it'd be nice if I could set up a turret there. And look at these over here. Where, where would I find loot? Whoa, you run fast, buddy. Let's get past you all. Uh, get inside in the or get inside the building would be a bad idea, wouldn't it? There wouldn't even be any loot in there, would there? Ah. How would I get out when I get inside? I don't know. No, leave. Leave! Bad idea! Bad idea! Let's not do that. I'm complaining about dying on the first night from infections and how that's so stupid. But yet dying on the first day from being stupid. No, that's okay, apparently. That's absolutely fine. Ooh, there's a light over there. So, where is that building? Covenant. Covenant is here. At this junction, turn left. And we've got one hour before night time. That's radioactive, isn't it? No? Grab this. Oh, 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 okay. Yep, landmines. Lots and lots of landmines. Um, wow, five levels up? All right, from all the building that Van Dorn did. I never applied the perk points. So he got strength, perception, endurance, zero charisma, or one charisma, two intelligence, one agility, and one luck. Why did I put these like this? I can't even remember. But this is what I need, level three sneak. Level three, you no longer trigger enemy mines. Can I just get that now? Is that a thing I can do? Yep. Okay, so I don't have to worry about triggering mines now. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Let's go get those mines. Although, considering what happened to Scotch Mo, I don't think it's going to end well for Van Dorn either. More mines. More... Oh, trap. Disarm this. Disarm it. More mines. No? Oh, we're looking good. You know, looking good besides these guys. Hello? Oh, yep. That was terrifying. Oh, run. Uh, can I... Oh, mine, yes. And that. Just grab whatever's nailed down. In fact, oh yeah, um, can I just boop ya? Boop! Go boop! Ooh, yep. That worked well. No, 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 don't, don't do it. Okay, okay, it's gone. Whoa, okay. Yep, 
all good. All good. I'm gonna go now. Yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, let's get home quickly before it gets 10 o'clock. That is a lot. A lot of zombies. Oh, man. Um, there's something over here that I'm definitely not gonna loot now. Oh, man. We're not gonna make it in time. It's up this hill, right? And it is... Night time. Okay, okay, okay. It's, it's just over there, right? Oh, no, 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 no. How much ammo we got? Like, six bullets. Okay, yeah, sure, six bullets. Not a problem. Absolutely fine. We can be fine. Inside quickly, and... No infected. Okay, excellent. I still can't loot any of these these farms. I don't know why. That seems to be a bug maybe with the mods that I've got. I can loot that, but I can't loot these. Hmm. You guys don't have a weapon workbenches or anything? That seems odd. You do have random junk lying about all over the place. Do you not have a place to cook food? Oh, this turret's dead. I don't know how that turret's dead, but it's dead. Seriously, is there, is there no place that you cook food? Guys, come on. Here we go. Nope, no place to cook food. Fine, I will build, this, build my own cooking station. Here we go. We have enough to make one of these. If I could place it down. Oh, I require rank one of furniture designs. Excellent. For this cooking station, I require rank two of local leader. This one, furniture designs, local leader, so on and so on. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to make do with what we got the minute. And then tomorrow, find a place that has, like, a cooking station. There was one further up, just outside of Concord. There was an open area that had a cooking station. But I'm not going to be heading back. Tomorrow, we're going to head further down south into the city, the narrow claustrophobic corridors, and towards Diamond City. So I guess I'm going to try and get Van Dorn to sleep. I'll see if there are any beds that aren't taken. Here we go. Perfect. That'll do. Uh, second thought, this won't do. There's only one way in, one way out. Let's not use this bed. This one, right? There are multiple ways in and out. Yes, there are. Taken. 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 I will make my own bed. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I don't even need to. Scratch that thought. I will take this bed. T take take this bed. Seriously, not let me move the bed. Nobody owns this bed. Fine. Fine. I will sleep in this room. If I die tonight, it's your fault, game. Nope, I can't make my own. Ooh, I can make this one. No, it's fine. I'll just use this bed in here. I don't know if we have to sleep with the enemies so close by, but worst case, we have to just wait out the night. So guys, thank you very much for watching. We're in a lot of trouble. We've barely got any ammo. We've barely got any food or water, but they are all future Mickey's problems. We'll just have to find out next episode how Van Dorn will do. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see all you guys next time for the continuation of Iron Man Impossible, Fallout 4, Seven Days to Die style, with Van Dorn. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye. How the hell are we gonna get any sleep with this gunfire? Oh. What? You, you killed the dog? Oh. Oh, this can work in our favor. This can work in our favor. Oh my god. Okay. Guys, we're gonna back off. We're gonna let this zombie go to town and make her own little horde here. Come on, everybody.